I feel like we should find more ways to love ourselves. Well, hello, my lovelies. If you're returning to my channel, I love you. And if you're new here, then just know that I love you too. In this video today, I want to share with you some of the things that I've been doing this year that have really been contributing to the softer kind of life that I see myself living. And I know that's a journey that many of you are also on and I just applaud you for that. And I thought you might enjoy me sharing some of the things that have personally helped me so far this year. My name is Megan, just in case you don't know me. Um, and I create content here online for women who are embracing their feminine side, specifically through aesthetics like princess core and cottage core. Those are my favorites. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to go ahead and click that subscribe button to become a part of the Swandal family with us. And honestly, without further ado, we can just jump right into it. Okay, so one of the things that I have been doing this year that I have seen such a dramatic difference in, pursuing natural radiance. And what I mean by that is finding ways to discover the beauty and your natural characteristics. And what that basically means is just finding new ways to embrace maybe your natural curls, finding new ways to see the radiance in your skin without a lot of makeup. Personally, I do love a really good face beat, the lash extensions, the highlighter, all of that stuff. And as you can tell today, I actually don't really have a lot of that on at all. I do have a little bit of foundation, but that's kind of the point. I'm not a makeup guru, but I do love um, being creative with it. I think makeup is a very creative hobby. So that's something that I will always be interested in and just have a lot of fun with. But I think that making a point to find your natural radiance is something that is really important and can be so eye-opening on your feminine journey. So one of the ways that I do this is I have a Pinterest board. If you don't have Pinterest, it's something that is really worth um, getting into. It's totally free. It's just another social media platform. And I just go and I search up natural curly hairstyles or simple curly hairstyles. And you can just find so much inspiration on Pinterest for things like that. And I save it to my um, Pinterest board and you can make this board private or public. The really cool thing about this is that you can find so many different natural hair inspirations on there. And you can just take your time experimenting and trying them out like every day or every other day and seeing which ones really fit you the most or seeing which ones you feel present your curls and who you are the most. One thing about me, I am a wig girly. I do love wearing my wigs. Something that I have been doing for the last couple of months or at least this month in January of this year is to at least see the radiance of my natural state because like I said that is the most beautiful thing. We can put on makeup, we can wear our wigs and our hair extensions and that's so fun, so glam, but what's important is when you take all of that off at the end of the day, do you like who you see in the mirror? Are you excited to do a really cute hairstyle with your curls and walk out of the house the next day if you had to or if you wanted to? Those are some questions that we should be asking ourselves and I truly think it has a lot to do with how you view yourself on the inside. And I tell everyone all the time that for me, it's not just an aesthetic. It's not about, you know, princess core and cottage core and all these different feminine aesthetics, but it is about how you feel on the inside and what happens is that it flows outwardly into the way that you dress, the way that you carry yourself. So that's number one for the things that I've been doing this year to contribute to living a softer, more confident life as a feminine woman. Pursuing natural radiance, figuring out ways with my skin, with my hair, and even with the way that I interact with my environment around me 
to find the radiance in that. So the next thing I have on my list is improving speech and tone. And this is something that maybe some of you have noticed about me this year if you've been following my content. Um, and maybe some of you haven't, but it's something that I have really been honing in on this year and it's really made some changes in my life. Now this particular tip may not be everyone's cup of tea. What this means is simply just learning to speak a little bit slower. So many of us are like entrepreneurs. We maybe have a day job where we're having to live through a pretty quick and fast-paced dynamic we forget to kind of slow down and think about how we're communicating how we're interacting with the world around us and this is something i told myself i wanted to work on a little bit more this year and already there's been such an improvement and i'm really happy about it if you take a look at some of the like classic icons like audrey hepburn and she's absolutely my favorite dorothy danbridge and all of those beautiful talented ladies that we still look up to today they all had amazing things in common and one of those things was the way that they spoke one of the things that i love about vintage movies the way that the women spoke back then they would speak with such a smooth and soft tone, but a tone that still conveyed a lot of authority and presence. The title comes from the fact that this girl gets a great lift and, and uh, fun out of walking down Fifth Avenue at the crack of dawn with a breakfast which she's bought in a drugstore and looking in the window at Tiffany's. And I think that is very elegant it's so beautiful another thing i've noticed helps with improving my speech is choosing like one word a day to learn and kind of implement into the day and i love to use like words that are like very classy or words that have such an antique and vintage feel to them and just dressing up your speech as something very intellectual and attractive. So I've been challenging myself to learn to do the same thing, but of course more in just a modernized way. It's just actively slowing down your speech, really thinking about the things that you're going to say, and also learning how to say them with confidence. Now that doesn't mean you have to be posh, prim, and proper. Because girl, I still use slang, I still get shook on period, okay? But I think the overall um, takeaway from this is just really paying attention to the words that you use, the way that you say them, and your tone of voice. The way that a woman speaks has huge effect on the way that she is viewed by another individual. Also helps you to feel much more relaxed in any conversation that you're having. It allows the other individual to open up to you more and to listen to you more whenever you're speaking. It helps you to feel softer and connected to the woman that you truly are on the inside. Isn't that really neat? So the next thing that I've been doing this year is writing love letters to myself. Now, doesn't that just already sound very, very fun? I personally like to write in um, affirmations that align with scripture. I am personally a believer in Christ, but you can write these however you see fit. When we take the time to actually write out the way that we view ourselves and find new ways to put positivity into words, it can really change the way that we carry ourselves. Now, I like to be very creative with mine. Um, as soon as I finish, I will put it in a cute envelope. I will use my wax seal stamps. Sometimes I fold it up into a little scroll. It's a really cool thing to do too if you are someone who's wanting to learn a little bit more of calligraphy. I'm trying to learn some more calligraphy myself. But writing love letters is such a really great way to spend time with yourself and to figure out more creative ways to speak um, beauty over your life. And then also you can really use this as a tool to work on your calligraphy skills. The next thing I have on my list is morning ballet stretches. Now this is something that I have been doing for a little while now since last year, but I've just been implementing it even more 
um, for this year. And let me tell you, it is something very worth it, especially if you are an actual ballet dancer. One of the things that's very important on your feminine journey is allowing your body to move and have freedom. So that goes for the kind of clothing that you wear, something that's very comfy and movable and allows you to really connect with your environment. I have found that when I wake up in the morning and I slide out of bed and I turn on like something very classic, like a symphony, maybe Swan Lake or something, just being able to slowly stretch and move your body really helps to get the blood flowing. It makes me feel very warm and comfortable, especially during these winter season mornings. For me, it's just another way of keeping my body in a consistent flow of softness. Morning ballet stretches are a really great form of therapy, especially if you're into actual feminine aesthetics like um, ballet core and coquette. Ballet stretches in the morning is probably something that you want to add to your list as a modern feminine romantic. Another thing that I love is cultivating royal pick-me-ups. Now, what do I mean by this? This is basically just cultivating anything into your day or your routine that reminds you of your royalty and your feminine essence. Now, an example of this would be my skincare routine. Now, in between facial applications, I would have to wait like about five to 10 minutes for some of these things to set into my skin or to even dry. But due to watching copious amounts of Bridgerton recently, especially Queen Charlotte, I have found that using a hand fan like this to kind of lightly breeze across your face really helps to connect you to your feminine side. I think using a hand fan in your morning routine is a really great way to start your day. So I highly suggest that. This is a fan that I picked up from the Dollar Tree about a couple years ago, and I just think it's really cute. But of course you can get fans like this from like Amazon and Shein and any other places that you may know about that I don't. <laughs> but it's an idea that I had when I was watching Bridgerton one day and I said, oh my goodness, how cool would it be to implement like some royal core features into a skincare routine? And I had to think about what that would look like. And the first thing that came to mind was a hand fan and it's actually something that has helped my skincare routine so if you haven't tried it yet i highly suggest it it's something that i think you'll really love but another way that you can do this is by maybe having like an enchanted mug that you drink coffee or tea out of in the morning so i have something like this one it is really cute that's something that also helps me to feel more connected and magical in the morning. Um, another way you can do this is by picking out a scrumptious smelling body spray or perfume to give yourself a couple of sprays of in the morning when you wake up. That's a really cool way. So the list just goes on and on of the different ways that you can cultivate royal pick-me-ups that lead to a softer life. Next thing that I'm excited to share is an enchanted playlist. Um, one of the things that I have been listening to a lot more lately is the Princess Diaries soundtrack. Um, I usually like to turn on classical music in the morning. I find that this really helps with the way that you lay out your day. Whenever I go to the powder room tending to my hygiene, I also find that it makes breakfast a little bit more magical when you're listening to a few symphonies in the background. A few examples of the music that I like for my playlist is The Princess Diaries, Chris Bowers. I even find ways to throw in a couple of contemporary songs of especially like Taylor Swift, especially her lovely song Enchanted, if you haven't heard that one. This is just the music that I do like to listen to on the daily, but do I listen to Ariana Grande and other mainstream artists? Yes. I do. This video is specifically just geared towards um, other ways that you can create an enchanted playlist that really cater to the more magical, softer essence, okay? Another thing I have on my list is simply being softer to your body. And this is simply just taking care of your body. And immunity boosting is something that is, of course, 
very important and pretty much vital these days um, during the times that we're living in. So I like to make sure that I am taking care of my body and protecting my immune system. So you can do this through making sure you're taking the proper vitamins, making sure that you're eating the proper foods to contribute to those vitamins that you need in your body. I won't go into too much detail about this one because that's kind of like a whole separate video, but I usually try to make sure that I am making myself a nutritious meal filled with the different um, nourishments and vitamins that I do need in my body. The ones that I would typically get from um, the vitamins that I take in the morning. One thing I do like to do is condense some of those nourishments into a morning drink. Of course, along with eating well and making sure you're taking your vitamins, it's getting in a good little workout. I personally enjoy nature walks and also home workouts, specifically because of the kind of schedule that I have during the week um, and on the weekends. Um, I find that for me, um, home workouts just kind of do the trick and they have actually been working for me for the past couple of years because your body as well as your soul and spirit on the inside it deserves to be taken care of. It deserves freedom and to be loved. It's what's going to help you pursue natural radiance in your skin, in your hair, and other features. Taking care of your body is going to help you preserve the energy that is needed to, to float freely in your feminine essence, to cater to the loving souls around you, and to also have the strength that you need to carry out daily tasks, to go to work, and to spend time with friends and family. If you have children, that is a job that requires a lot of energy and strength as well. And the last thing that's been helping me so far for this list is sending magic to others. Now, what do I mean by this? I really just mean lifting up others around you. I like to make sure that I am humble enough to help someone out when I know that they need it, um, to encourage someone when I know that it's going to lift them up and inspire them, to simply love on someone when I know that love is a very conquering tool. I'm so grateful for the opportunity I've had to be a part of an amazing community online of beautiful individuals and and feminine girlies. I always tell everyone there's room for everyone. And you may see some people who share a very similar journey um, that you do, pursuing the same things that you, sharing the same things that you do. And you also might see some people who look nothing like you, pursuing completely different things than you are. But the truth is there is room for everyone. There's room for the person that looks like you and is similar to you. And then there's room for the person that is the complete opposite of you. But all of us deserve support. It's really important to remember that all of us are inspiring each other all the time. It's also important to remember that no one is ever doing better than you. They are only doing the best that they can in their lives. And you are responsible for doing the very best that you can. In 2024, we aren't gatekeeping, we aren't withholding love and support from another individual that only wants the best for themselves. We aren't pulling other women down by speaking grossly or interacting with pride. This year, we are prioritizing communication instead of allegations. This year, we're sending magic and sending love. The mainstream idea of Valentine's Day is quite sweet, but I challenge you this February to make sure that you are also putting more love on yourself and to others. And most importantly, I challenge you to make the rest of the months of the year just as lovely as February. That was my list for today. I hope that you guys enjoy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button to become a part of the Swandell family with us. I'm really excited about this year and I can't wait to see you there. Thank you so much for listening and just watching my video. I really do appreciate all of you so very much. I'm sending you X's and O's and I can't wait to see you in my very next video. Remember that you are loved, you are capable at all times, and you are always royalty. Catch you guys in my next one. Bye.